Hi, I'm Sarah Shaw from Entrepreneur, and I'm really flattered that you're here checking out my video today. So I want to give you a brief background on myself so that you can know what I'm talking, that I know what I'm talking about and that you can see if this is something you really want to hang out and do with me. So I'll give you the quick version. When I first launched my handbag line, I had no idea what I was doing. I made every mistake under the sun. I overspent. I you know, made too many samples, didn't know how to merchandise, had no idea how to do marketing. Uh, honestly had no idea how to do sales. I mean, I was terrified to call stores. I didn't know how to find the stores. Um, I didn't even know what sales reps did, um, let alone, you know, really didn't know that much about PR. I mean, I read fashion magazines and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't know how you got in them, and I really couldn't see myself in them. So, you know, push comes to shove, you know, five years of blunders, mistakes, um, wasted money, time, all that kind of stuff. Um, well, you, most of you know the story. I lost my financing after 2002, um, after 9-11, and ended up closing my company and realized quickly that people really needed support and wanted to get information from people who'd been there and done that. And actually, people started knocking down my door right away asking me to consult with them. And I thought I was a total loser having just you know lost my business. And you know we were doing a million dollars in business. We'd been in movies. We'd made bags for Julia Roberts and Reese Witherspoon and been on TV shows like Friends and had lots of publicity and success. But it just really wasn't enough because I didn't know how to do all the things that sustain a company. I just kind of thought, well, if you just do it once and you know get into this movie, wow, great, you're gonna make it. It's just gonna sort of have legs and go on its own, but that's not true. I mean, you really need to know all the things that you have to do to sustain your business and keep it going and keep the momentum going and you know, know how to get the word out to people get yourself as the most exposure possible and really you know attract the right buyers whether it's a retail or um, ready to ready you know shopping on the web um, and bringing you regular retail customers so I have you know through my trials and tribulations figured out really great formulas systems tips tricks all these kinds of things that I you know I'm always wanting to share with you guys and therefore I have put together this six-week retail mastery course where I'm going to teach you all about it so um, you know, I want you to have the same success that my clients do. I mean, recently I've had clients um, in uh, Martha Stewart, real simple. They've gotten products to Lisa Kudrow, um, Giada De Laurentiis, uh, Patricia Arquette, um, some, you know, pretty good celebrities. Um, Angelina Jolie, a client of mine, got her t-shirts to Shiloh, um, and the pictures showed up with Angelina Jolie and People Magazine and In Touch. Okay, I mean, it kind of went viral. It was really awesome. And so these things can happen for you, too. It's just you need to know the steps and all the things to do to push it and bring that and use those things to leverage them and bring sales and, you know, more success to your company. So I created Retail Mastery to teach you all the things that you need to do that with. So we're going to go over things like price point, how to attractively price your brand. You know, some people can you know figure out the price point, but then don't really know how to make it selectively attractive for buyers. You know, t talking to you and teaching you how to do um, different kinds of prepackaged. Um, systems with your with your line so that buyers can you know buy things with the snap of a finger don't really have to think about it um, merchandising mastery <laughs> which is really important some people really forget you think oh gosh you know I love these fabrics or this you know part of my line or you maybe you make jewelry and you know you love all these different earrings or stones or something like that but you really don't think about how the collection goes together and what it might look like uh, in a store you know on the shelves or in a jewelry cabinet um, on a table somewhere and so you really need to um, or I really needed help and just assuming that you do too with figuring out the merchandising and what little little tricks that you can do to just pull it together really quickly so I'm going to be looking at your lines and giving you advice about that um, getting your buyer black book together who sounds super sexy um, you know you're only as good as your list of people that you're selling to so you really want to make sure that you've you know found targeted buyers that you know how to do that you know know what to say to them how to follow up how often you can you know bug them and what's sort of too little or too much so I'm going to go over all of that with you and all these calls will be recorded and you'll get workbook sheets and all that kind of stuff to go with everything so you'll be fully loaded um, 
what else? Closing the deal. Like once you find all these buyers and you, um, you know, have this black book that you've put together, um, then, you know, what do you do with it? You know, how do you get them to, to how do you close the deal essentially? So I'm going to be giving you lots of tips and tricks about that and helping you, you know, sort of develop your pitch and what's right for your company. And yes, I will actually work with you one-on-one, -on -one, you know, on the calls, really help you. You guys can email me your pitches. I'll take a look at those in between the calls. Um, you know, I really want to put everything I have into this to make sure that you walk away with everything that you need to make this really valuable for you. So marketing, whew, gosh. That can be a really scary word to a lot of people. I know when I first started thinking about marketing, I just got woo heebie-jeebies and I really don't like it at all. Um, you know, I like to think of it in different ways um, about how you can contact people virtually, how you follow up on the phone, um, all the different things that you can do to market uh, and, and get the world to know about any media that you get a celebrity placements, things like that, and what to do with all of that, because it's really important that you make sure that you're constantly, you know, feeding the pipeline with all of this great information about your brand and making sure that you actually have news things that are going on, you know, whether it's a blogger reviewing your brand or, or whatever, you know, because I think of those as sort of, sometimes people think of those as sort of inconsequential, but bloggers, you know, these days are very influential and can really turn people one way or another. So, you know, that's not something to be poo-pooed at all. Um, and Salesforce, teaching you how to really look for a sales force if that's something that you're into. I mean, I highly recommend it. You know, it's sort of like it comes from that it takes a village mentality. You know, if you're just sitting at your dining room table trying to sell your brand yourself without other people doing it for you, it can limit, you know, how many people you can call in a day or, you know, maybe you're doing 20 other things for your business as well, like most, you know, startups are. I know I'd be like on the phone, sweeping the floor, you know, taking an order, um, trying to answer an email. I mean, you know, you, you try to multitask as much as possible, but having a sales force is something that really can alleviate some pressure from you and really make, um, give you more time to concentrate on the things that you're good at, like designing new product or merchandising your line, or maybe you're really good at um, creating your catalogs or some, you know, taking photos, you know, you might be an awesome photographer. You know, we all have different things that we excel at as far as all the little minuscule things that we do in our business. And so we really want to make sure that we can do those things. So, you know, obviously you can go at your, you know, you can do this all by yourself. You've probably maybe figured out how to do a lot of it. And, you know, but having somebody like me by your side teaching you one-on-one -on -one in, in this small group, essentially, um, how to do all those things, how to avoid the mistakes, you know, saving you time and money is something that I personally would have found super valuable and would have hired somebody in a nanosecond to help me. Um, and even though there wasn't anything available like that when it, when I first started my bag line. So I wanted to just tell you this course is going to be awesome. It's going to be chock full of all kinds of tips and tricks, things that are going to really help propel your business forward and give you my, all my little marketing secrets, um, little tick, you know, tricks and shortcuts that I've developed over the years that I use with my private clients. So before you even think about pressing that button and signing up, I just want to tell you I'm only going to take 15 people because I want to keep it intimate enough so that I can answer all your questions and really, you know, help you through you know, all of the different sections of the class. And I'm going to offer you each an awesome bonus. So every person who takes the course is going to get a free ticket to my 2012 tour. I'm going to be to doing two events, one in Los Angeles and one in New York City. Um, and you'll get a free ticket. It's valued at $249. And um, you can choose the city that you want to attend. And I'm really excited. I can't wait for you to be in my class. Um, just keep on reading down. It gives you all the description just down below and we have a really great price for this it's only three hundred and seventy two dollars and I really hope you'll take advantage of it and I'd love to see you at my live event so hope to see you soon bye